Hello guys, we continue exploring Laravel 11 new features and changes and today we'll talk about this controller. It is shorter, smaller, slimmer than Laravel 10. For comparison, look how the same base controller was in Laravel 10. And in this video I will show you why it is important if you used some of the features in previous Laravel versions. But don't worry, they are not removed from the framework, they are just kind of hidden and it's easy to enable back if you wish to. So here's a typical Laravel controller and in Laravel 11 these two things would not work by default. So if you had a habit to do this authorize from controller or this validate from controller you would need to change a few things to make it work again. So the behavior of those this authorize and this validate was in the traits of Laravel framework itself these two. So by default base controller used two traits which were removed in Laravel 11 and let's explore them separately. So this authorize. For those of you who didn't even know about that feature in Laravel 10 documentation we can see authorization via controller helpers. So you can do something like this. This authorize with name of the gate. Also there's authorize resource and this is powered by this trait authorizes requests from Laravel framework with method authorize which under the hood uses gates. So there's authorize, then there's authorize for user, then a few protected methods within the same trait, and there's also public authorize resource. That trait still exists in Laravel 11, it just isn't included by default in the control. So if you do want to use that feature, all you need to do is add that trait inside of specific controller or in the base controller which was exactly the point of that change. So you would enable some features when you want to use them, not globally for all controllers. So you can do use authorizes requests here, add that as a trait here like this, and then this authorize is clickable and will work for you. So you can do that inside of a specific controller or inside of the same app HTTP controllers you can also do the same thing. So I copy and paste, do this. So then that would be identical to Laravel 10 and previous version behavior. But thinking about the best practices or recommended practices by framework itself, this authorize, it's actually just a shortcut to gate functionality. So maybe instead of this authorize, you should use what framework recommends. So in Laravel 11 documentation for authorization, you will not find this authorize at all. Instead, one of the features is the same gate authorize, which is almost the same syntax, but by using gate, it's probably more clear for all the developers that you're using gates because this authorize may be unclear what that this refers to. Where does that come from? So some developers may need to go through those traits and find that, oh, that authorize method is in the trait of Laravel framework. Gate, in my opinion, is clear, recommended by framework in the docs. So probably a better way is to use gate authorize like this, and then you don't need any authorized requests here. Okay, and the second, this validate. Raise your hands if you still use that, because this is a bit different story than gate authorize. This validate is a pretty ancient syntax which just wasn't changed for many years. So with this authorize in the docs, I found it in Laravel 10 version of the docs. With this validate, I had to go back version by version by version. It wasn't in the docs until I went back to Laravel 5.4. So this was the last version I found when validates requests and validate method was even mentioned. So there is a high chance that none of you even knew about this feature, didn't use it, and that was fine. Because actually validation should happen from validation classes, like form request classes, for example, or you can do request validate, for example, request here, like this, and then you have request validate. This is the officially supported syntax. And again, this validate seems like a cool shortcut that you can use just directly from controller, but 
Again, it's not clear what that this refers to. So in both of those cases, gate authorize and request validate is clearer and officially recommended by the framework. Again, of course, if you're kind of married to that syntax of this validate, you can still enable that by doing use validates requests, I think it is. Enable that trait from this controller or base controller and still keep using that. But you will not find that syntax in the Laravel documentation anymore. So all in all, that shorter, smaller, slimmer Laravel controller may seem like it took away a few features, but in my opinion, it was for good reasons and it is still easily reversible change if you still want to use those shortcuts. What do you think? Would this change impact your projects? And by the way, a reminder, this is only for new Laravel 11 projects. For example, if you upgrade your older Laravel project to Laravel 11, you may still use old syntax, old controller with the traits, all the old structure. That slim controller is just for new Laravel 11 fresh projects. A few more videos are coming about Laravel 11, so subscribe to the channel to not miss any of them. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.